Hi everyone, this is Maria with Massage Therapy Solutions. Today I wanted to hop on and give you my opinion on Ashley Black's um, fascia blaster. If you heard about that, you've probably seen all kinds of advertisement on Facebook and um, Instagram, pretty much all over social media. And um, if you're curious and you're not sure if you should invest in it and don't know if it actually works or not, um, I just wanted to give you um, my opinion and ex the experience I've had with the tool. First, um, first time I think I've heard about Fashion Blaster was about three years ago. And um, as a massage therapist, you always look for something that could help you in your practice and something that's going to make your massage a little bit more effective and something that's going to kind of get more work done in the same time span, you know, in the same hour and a half that you get to see your clients. So I have a lot of athletes and a lot of people that have um, chronic conditions, recover from injury surgeries, and any tool that I can use to help them heal faster and help them with uh, fascial restrictions, do trigger points and things like that, I'm all up for it. So when I saw Ashley Black's fascia blaster, I definitely wanted to try it and see if it works. And um, my first one was the original fascia blaster. This is what it looks like. And um, I honestly use it pretty much every day. And it's a great tool as far as warming up the tissue, as far as breaking down the adhesions, and as far as really getting into the muscle fibers and help um, to break down whatever the restrictions, whatever the fascial adhesions that people have developed. So it's best to use with heat and I actually also invested in the infrared lamp. So I use that on just about all of my clients as a, as a warm up. So for the first maybe um, five, 10 minutes, I um, use the heat and I use the blaster. So it's great for, for legs. It's great for lower back pain. It's great for um, upper back and shoulders. And you have to be careful with positioning because again, this is kind of a big tool. So you have to, you know, not hit person in the head with the blaster, which has happened to me at first. So, um, I definitely believe that it's great for breaking down fascial adhesions, for warming up the tissue, and for really try to separate the layers of the muscles and the fascia. And it really is a great tool. It also helps it saves your hands, so you don't have to, you know, use your knuckles so much. You don't have to use your shoulders so much when they do deep work. This is actually a great tool to warm up. But my favorite, I have to say, is the mini which I also ended up purchasing as soon as it came out because I really, really like the original, but I wanted something smaller, something that I could actually hold and easily manipulate. And the fact that it comes with those tips in the end, you can actually do a great trigger point of work so you can save your thumbs. So this is definitely have been a lifesaver and I use it every single day on every single person I work with. And it's great for just about any injury for just about any area and it really really helps to get behind the scapula it really helps to get with the low get on the lower back and quads knees i mean you name it forearms just about every area all over body i absolutely love this so if you have to choose between um the original fascia blaster or the phase blaster which i also have um, I would say my very favorite and the one I use the most is definitely the mini just because um, it has two prongs so it's small enough but still very effective and I love the the little nugget point I think it's called for trigger point work so this is definitely um, something that I would recommend and I say that I do believe I use every day not so much for maybe cellulite treatments, which I do have clients that like to, um, you know, work on their cellulite and it is definitely effective. I um, mainly use this for pain management, for basically recovery and f the way it was initially developed. Um, as far as the face blaster, I find that it's very helpful for um, small areas like areas around the ankle. I use it on my palm pretty much every day at the end of the day and it's definitely very effective for a carpal tunnel and um, 
sometimes around the neck. I could use it, like I said, on the ankles and hands and uh, maybe elbows and knees. So if you um, kind of have a small area you need to get into, that is definitely helpful. But I don't think if you, you know, not trying to work on your face and get your no Botox um, kind of a facelift effect, um, I probably wouldn't recommend that one. But um, again, depends on what you're trying to accomplish and if you're trying to get it for yourself or use it in your clients in your practice and basically help your clients' patients recover faster. Um, I also have the uh, Master Blaster, which I thought would be kind of neat to have and it honestly have not used it at all. And I, um, again, don't do as much of a cellulite treatments with my clients. Mainly it's uh, pain management, it's sports, it's dip tissue massage. And I just find that it's a little too sharp, if you say it for the lack of a better word. And I feel like you have to really use a lot of oil and you really have to be careful because it is just so pointy and it has really, really small, um, small prongs. So the kind of, I just don't really see the use for it in my practice anyway. So that is not something that I really, um, so much care for. So I don't really use it very much. So if you are looking for, um, for basically kind of do it all, I definitely, like I said, recommend mini two. And I definitely say that it does work as far as breaking down adhesions, getting into the fascia layers. You can use use this um, for trigger point relief and um, great for self-care. Massage therapist or someone who benefits from massage, I definitely believe that that tool um, is great to have at home and it's great to um, self-treat. So if you ever have, you know, ankle pain or lower back pain, anything, you can get it just about any area with the uh, mini two. And that's definitely have been a winner for me. Uh, if you um not sure what to do, how to use the tool, and if you've heard about it, I'm sure you've done your research and I'm, sh I'm sure you read enough about Ashley Black's research and the things she's done in the community. And uh, she actually wrote a book, which I also ended up buying, The Cellulite Myth. And um, I'm not by any mean endorsed by Ashley Black or promoting her products or anything, but I just really um, love her story. I thought it was great that she was able to figure out a lot of things for us and figure it out the in the role of fascia in healing process. So I thought it was a great story, great testimonials. And um, lately I've been seeing a lot of negative press about Ashley Black and about her tools and people were just saying, you know, how damaging it is and how um, people end up hurting themselves. And what I can say to that is if you're not cleared by your doctor to get a massage and if you have a pre-existing condition, there's something with your circulatory system function, anything with, you know, heart condition and, and there are a lot of neurological things that, you know, massage is just not recommended. Just ask your doctor if you're clear for a massage, you're clear to use fascia blaster. And honestly, just use your best judgment. Don't go crazy. Don't try to intentionally damage your tissue and think that you're trying to get rid of cellulite in one session and you're just going to go after it. That's just kind of silly. So I find that people that have mentioned that they got hurt by fascia blaster and um, had a terrible experience, I think just didn't use it the way it was intended. So when you get the tool and if you decide which one works for you, um, just follow the protocol. There are plenty of videos on YouTube, there are plenty of videos on Facebook and on her website that explains everything. If you decide to try the tool, if you decide to, um, invest in it because it is also not cheap. So that's why I kind of wanted to say that out of four that she has now, the mini two is definitely something that I use the most in my practice and on myself also. So hope this was helpful. Um, please leave a comment below if you have any questions, if you wonder what um, I use it for the most, or if you have any questions about, you know, how you can explain this to your clients and basically um, any questions related to fascia blaster or really massage therapy and um, 
I really uh, hope to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more information. Thanks for tuning in.